everybody and welcome to this short information video on how to refill a juice tank cartomizer, clearomizer, atomizer, CE4, CE5, CE6, they all have um, many different names. Ours is called a juice tank. My name's Paul Wilkinson and I'm from e-vapor8.uk.com, a fully registered e-vapor branded company. So our juice tanks, uh, very quickly, you've probably got to this video either by searching YouTube or because you may have purchased one of our starter kits which has the QR code. Similarly, our e-liquids also have the QR code. Um, our juice tanks also have the QR code. In fact, all of our products and merchandising um, and posters, advertisements, all have the QR code. So you could have got here via that or just by searching it or browsing the website. Um, so yes, Evaporate and GoGo -Go Juice, a UK branded company and we're going to show you briefly how to fill a tank. A lot of people know how to do this, a lot of people are doing it incorrectly and uh, breaking the products themselves. So I'm going to show you, I'm not going to open the brand new one, that would be silly, but I have one right here to show you. Um, as you can see, 1100 milliamp battery CE4 non leak V2 tank. This one's all ready to go, so I can show you with a totally mental juice in there at the moment. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to refill this. Um, so, let's pick a tank. Here we go. These are for sale in your retailers on the website for between um, 4 and 4.95 depending where you go. This is a clear one. No, it's grey, sorry. So here's a brand new tank straight out of the box, just to show you. Um, let's pick a juice. Let's go with ooh, Blueberry. A nice Blueberry Blast. This is a 10 milliliter bottle, 11 milligram nicotine strength. There are other flavours, sizes and nicotine strengths available. Quality control, Hang Seng liquid. Um, expiry date on there, quite important. So these are the two items that you need to complete what we're going to do today is filling a juice tank. So first and foremost to remove the mouthpiece from the juice tank. You don't have to remove the dust cap at all. Just hold the juice tank quite firmly and twist the mouthpiece in an anti-clockwise direction. Um, until it comes all the way out you'll notice there's a little rubber seal and it pops out. Place the juice tank on the surface, place the mouthpiece on the surface. Um, be aware they've got a child safety lock on these, so you have to, you know, you can't just twist the cap around, you have to push down and twist. You'll notice inside the go go juice that we have a slight needle point which is going to make this operation a lot easier for you. So then you hold the go go juice and the tank, place the tank at an angle. Yeah, the reason for this is because we want the liquid to go down the inside, not down the centre tube. Yeah, because that's how a lot of people are breaking these. Well, not so much breaking them, you end up with a mouthful of the um, liquid, so to speak. So, as we're holding the bottle and the tank at an angle, we uh, gently squeeze the go go juice bottle and we can see the drips of liquid going in there. You continue to do this until your juice tank is full to 1.6 millilitres in this CE4 tank. It is labelled on the outside, you may not be able to see it in the video very well, but it does say 1.6 millilitres right there. 1.6 millilitres is probably for the average smoker around about two days worth of go go juice. And you can see from filling the tank, you can see we've used very little juice whatsoever to fill the tank. So we'll place that down we get the mouthpiece, place the mouthpiece back on and this time we're going to turn in a clockwise direction until we get a good tight pinch on there. It's difficult to over tighten, it's difficult, you're not going to snap the thread um, un unless you're Jeff Capes. Um, now the juice, the go go juice, make sure the lid's on there good and firm, child proof seal's working. You notice the, the braille triangle on the back there stating it's poisonous. Make sure you keep your go-go juice locked out of the way of children, it's always handy. Um, okay, how to remove your tank from the battery. You can see, we're just holding the battery and we're twisting that. 
in an anti-clockwise direction, nice and gentle, until eventually it pops off. You've probably seen how to do this already because it's the same procedure for recharging. You would take that off and then you would place the battery charger on, just like we're placing this other cartomizer juice tank on there. A good pinch, remove the dust cap and you're ready to go. Wow, I like that fruity blueberry taste, very nice. There we go, for more videos, more information videos to come. Feel free to check our website out, have a look, ask your retailer if they've got Evaporate in stock or a GoGo -Go juice in stock. Take care for now, I'm Paul Wilkinson from e-vapor8.uk.com. Bye for now.